And with tensions rising on the Korean Peninsula, with North Korea reportedly preparing for a third nuclear test, South Korea and the United States have begun their regular joint naval exercise. Our Ho Sung Ha reports. South Korea and the United States have kicked off a three-day combined naval drill in Korea's East Sea. This is a regular joint exercise aimed at testing the combat readiness of both countries. However, some experts view this week's drill slightly differently, as the timing coincides with Pyongyang's third nuclear test, which seems to be imminent. A former naval commander An gi -seok says the drill could be seen as a warning to Pyongyang because a missile loaded on an American nuclear-powered submarine is capable of targeting secret sites in case of an emergency. Beside the nuclear-powered submarine USS San Francisco and the Aegis destroyer Shiloh from the U.S., which are equipped with missiles, South Korea has employed 10 warships in the drill. Meanwhile, a high-level government official from Seoul says the South Korean government is considering imposing a naval blockade on North Korea. The source said that under the plan, foreign ships which have entered Pyongyang would not be able to enter ports in South Korea, the United States, Japan or EU nations. He said the sanctions would cut up the supply of everyday goods to North Korea. As South Korea became the chair of the U.N. Security Council since February, the government has reportedly come up with a draft resolution of punitive measures on Pyongyang, including the new sanction with Washington. Hosina, Arirang News.